Today we are out here at 30920 Oakmont Ave in Mount Plymouth. Some of you may know this area as Sorrento, uh, but technically this is Mount Plymouth. This is a 0.4 no HOA neighborhood, 0.4 acre property right here. This home itself is a four bed, two bath, 2106 square feet. Got a nice long driveway, great curb appeal up here. Nice wide looking home. Um, but as we enter the property here, you got a nice front porch. Put a couple chairs up here, irrigation system. Just an incredible layout. So walking inside the home here, you've got a dining room along the right hand side. Do this little cutout. And my back is against the door right now. And you've got a nice secondary living room. Um, you've got multiple generations living in the in the home here. You could use this as uh, almost like a walled off space here. You could close that off and you have two different living areas. All right, so let's get into the kitchen first before the bedrooms. Nice eat-in kitchen nook right here, opened up to the pool. Nice space here. And then overlooking the kitchen, nice open concept. Stainless steel appliances. And check out this deep sink here. Nice big sink. Got a nice wood burning fireplace here in the second living room. And then again, you got sliding door right here and another sliding door right over here. All right, we'll jump over to the master bedroom. All right, so over here, you've got two different rooms. So technically this office space right here, which some would argue is a uh, not a bedroom, you could use it as a bedroom, it'd be a little bit smaller, but it does have a closet, just a standard built-in closet to the left-hand side here. You do have some nice built-in cabinetry and shelving area there if you did want to use it as an office, or even maybe a nursery that's right next to the master bedroom. So you've got great proximity. This master bedroom has nice double doors leading into it, and again, a sliding door view of the patio and caged in uh, screen pool area. Just a great floor plan. All right, so I'm standing in the back corner of the master bedroom here, overlooking the ensuite bathroom. And there's that nursery, office, flex room. You could use that as an additional bedroom too if you needed to. Uh, just a great space there. You've got a linen closet here on your right hand side, bedroom closet on the left hand side, dual vanities, soaking tub, and a nice shower space. And then of course your water closet in there. All right, so let's jump over to the other side of the home. It's a nice two-way split. All right, so over here, you've got laundry room leading into the two-car garage over there. Built-in cabinetry space above the laundry. Bedrooms three built-in closet there. Bedroom four. And then you've got your full second bathroom right here. All right, let's head outside. Let's go take a look out here. See what the outdoor space has to hold. All right, so this home does come with the nice outdoor kitchen bar area right here. It's not affixed to the ground, but it is a piece of furniture and could easily be removed. Um, but it does come with the home. And great pool area with a nice big deep backyard. You've got paver work all the way around it. And this is just an additional covered space right here. You could put your smoker. You could put some extra storage out that direction. But a nice place. All right, let's take a look a little bit further out. Got a great paver fireplace and a massive, massive yard that's fully fenced in here. All right, so let's check it out. We're at the back corner of it. Looking back at the home, got the side yard covered space over there with the pavers. 
more space over here. Storage shed, well pump. So you are well water and septic at this property. Again, well water and septic. All right, let's go walk out a little bit more. All right, a little stats on it. Roof was done in 2016 and the AC is 2019. The water heater appears to be original to the property. The property was built in 2004, so the water heater would likely be going on 20 years old. Um, of course, all these things need to be verified by an inspector, but that's what we believe to be true at this moment. All right, thank you so much for watching. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help you out.